All right, so I want to talk a little bit more about the scandals that have been going on, not just the Lauren Drive scandal, but the Motel 6 Hollywood scandal. And first and foremost, I want people to know that the activity that was going on with me was had nothing to do with uh, what they call La Cosa Nostra or the Italian Mafia. The Italian Mafia had nothing, at least the Mafia that I know, the Italian Mafia pe people that, I, that I'm familiar with and that I know, didn't have anything to do with anything that happened to me. Um, that I I did have I had a hit out on me, and the reason for that being was something much different than what people think. It didn't have anything to do with the Italian mafia. It had to do with some informant, uh, FBI informant type Masonic type activity. Um, it, it was informants and 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 uh, the same people harassing me now are the same people who had tried to set me up to do a hit on me. And this was at Motel 6, a famous intersection on Hollywood Boulevard, Holly and Whitley. Uh, and I had been going to Hollywood and Whitley for years before this happened. And I'm very familiar with the area. And it was, uh, it, it was, it was, it was actually, uh, it was actually some people who came to the, to the area that I was at who were, uh, who you could say, who you could say, who you could say, we're, we're, mob, we're mobbed up. You could say we're mobbed up, but the thing about it is, it's not illegal. It's not illegal to be. It's not illegal to be a mafia guy. It's not illegal to be a made guy in the mafia. There's no crime that can put somebody in jail for being a made guy in the mafia. There's no crime that can put somebody in jail just for being a gang member uh, on the same token. So, a bunch of made guys in the mob can show up at a courthouse. Nothing can happen to them. It's not illegal to be a made guy in the mob. It's not illegal to, to, to be uh, a gang member. None of that's illegal. So it's based on what you do and what your activity is. I don't know a damn thing about the, the people who saved my life. I don't know nothing about nothing they did illegal. And so, but I do know what happened to me, and I do know that uh, uh, the right people got involved and showed up in the area, and the, the perpetrators who were, the, the snitch bitches, the perpetrators, uh, who were trying to commit the crime? They got over. They the mob, sh the 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 real the mob showed up, and they got the mob showed up and got it and got it finished. And so, so that's what happened. That's that's what happened to me. You know, I watched the whole thing happen. I went up to. I watched the whole damn thing happen. I walked up to. I was I was involved. I watched the whole thing happen. I know exactly what happened. And so nobody, no nobody's in. Uh, any legal danger or nothing for me not not any of the mob guys i'm familiar with but okay so that being said when i came back to back to muskegon county in muskegon michigan my neighbors started acting real weird and following me around and harassing me and it was a thing to where like they they didn't want anybody to know about it but they were still doing it and i think these people in muskegon county i think the people that were doing this to me don't really they don't know nothing about me like they don't know nothing about my friends, the people I'm familiar with. You know, I'm 30 something years old. I'm just, I was, when this was happening to me, I was just an independent researcher. Like these people weren't around me when I was in my early twenties or my mid twenties. These people did this to me after I was all, after my life had completely changed, I became a researcher and I wasn't involved. I'm not involved in anything illegal. I'm not involved in no, in no nothing like that. <laughs> and I don't want to, and I don't want to know nothing about nothing like that. But these people started harassing me and doing this to me, and I think they looked at me like I was vulnerable. Like, oh, he don't know nobody. Nobody's gonna help him. The people he talks to, and that's not. And and now and now it, it, now it's in a situation where now the people who do know me and the people I am familiar with in that lifestyle are finding out what happened to me and are finding out what's going on. And they might. And 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 and, and when they get mad, they might do something about it too. You know. So people people. Well, people were riding around in, in cars and stuff, scaring me and calling me niggers and shit and sending me death threats and following me around. Well, and, and, and pretending like hiring people to sit there and pretend now they not not a real not a real criminals not a real criminals might get involved and figure out what who they are and what they did to me. The real criminals the real criminals might have something to say about it. So that's what I'm talking about sit there, little snitch-ass police bitches, sit there and follow people around and try to intimidate people and scare people and all this shit. Now the real, now the real criminals, now the real gang members and the real mafia guys and shit might just show up. 
shit, nobody's gonna do nothing to me. I'm not worried about nobody doing a damn thing to me. So, I'm on YouTube going full blast. Sit there and play around with some guy you don't know and, and, and pretend like he's crazy and all this shit. Now the, real, now the real criminals might show up. Don't be surprised. That's what I want to say. Don't be surprised if the real mafia and the real criminals show up and want a piece of that action. They might show up and want a piece of that ass, bitch.